First off, the problems that I thought were serious are not so serious. Some of you are going, oh, duh. Well, you know, things I had been led to believe were wrong. Okay, I got to see my doctor today, and I actually got to talk to my doctor for more than 15 seconds. Normally when I go to this clinic, it's like uh, the doctor asks me some questions, and I answer them, and he goes, okay, bye. He's just got to go so quickly. Oh, talk to the nurse. Well, the nurses don't know very much. So, <laughs> this time I got to talk to the doctor for a decent period of time. Might even have been about 20 minutes. Um, got to ask him a, an extensive amount of questions. Uh, first off, he was sorry for giving me the impression that I may have had uh, two heart attacks over the past week and a half. He's like, no, 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 no. I, I just meant that, that it's, you, you had some restricted flow to the heart. What is that called? Angina or something? I can't remember what it's called. Um, sounds like mangina. <laughs> But, uh, uh, and that's all it was. And if that continued for an extended period of time, yes, that could lead to a heart attack, but that within itself is not a heart attack. So, and, uh, second thing that he was telling me is that, uh, uh when, if someone has a lifestyle change, if there is a bunch of buildup in the arteries, that that buildup can be alleviated. That can go away. Even in as small of a period as like three weeks out of a lifestyle change. I didn't know that. I had unfortunately went to websites to try to get some information on this stuff, and they make it sound like uh, uh, once there's, there's a buildup, well, that's permanent, that's it. So I thought I had a permanent buildup in, in my arteries and that I had two heart attacks. That's what I thought. That's what was going through my head. And uh, websites are the worst place to get this kind of information from, no matter how accredited they are. They lay things out like news websites. Worst case scenario on everything. Be afraid. Be very afraid. That's how they're set up. And then I had gotten advice from a friend of mine who is a, an extreme hypochondriac. In fact, he is the main reason why I had went to the emergency room that first night and was there for six hours. You know, I told him what I had experienced and I, I didn't know what it meant. And, oh, go to the emergency room. You know, I told him I had thought about going to the emergency room. Oh, no, go, go to the emergency room. You know, if anything like this happens, you don't want to mess with the heart. You don't never want to mess with the heart, okay? I mean, there, there's some truth to that, I, I, you know, but... I don't know. I don't know. He's a really good friend. I mean, he's an awesome friend. He's been there for me when, in, in, through thick and thin, through some bad scenarios. He, he's been an awesome person, but he's a hypochondriac. And sometimes he's miserable over it. And uh, I just have to take that into consideration. I think about how, you know, he's, he's done drag. He's been a sister of perpetual indulgence. And when I was doing the makeup thing, uh, he was giving a number of, some, some good advice, but then some of the things were just like, what? What? Like, uh, oh, you, you gotta replace your brushes every couple months because, uh, you know, bacteria and stuff. I said, well, then I'll just wash them, uh, soak them in bleach water for a little bit. Rewash them and then they should be fine. Oh, no, that had bleach on them. You don't want it anywhere near your eyes. I'm like, well Can't I just put soak them in a vinegary solution and it'll neutralize that that's how that works. Oh I sure wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Well, okay <laughs> So I just need to take that in consideration um, I, I wish I would have talked to more people I lived the past couple days uh, thinking that uh, my life was in serious danger. I thought I could die at any moment. Uh, you know, I've seen some people be let out of hospitals who have serious life-threatening conditions, and you know, not much gets done, and they just get let out of the hospital. So I, I didn't know, you know, 
I didn't know. So, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm doing all right. My, I got my, uh, my lab results. They weren't nearly as bad as I thought. The uh, uh, cholesterol was somewhere 230 or something like that. And that's high, but it's not like 400 like my mom's has been, and, and she, isn't, she isn't croaking dead of, of, of a heart attack. Of course, she's on, she's on medications that, uh, on a medication that brought that way down, but uh, still. Um, and uh, the doctor didn't do this major push for, oh, you have to lose weight, you have to lose weight. It's just like, no, you have to, you have to cut back the fat. You have to cut back the fat. That's the main push, you know, don't be so stressful on your liver, don't be so stressful on your arteries, don't be so stressful on your heart, cut back the fat, okay, that's what I'm doing, that's what I was already starting to do, but now I know that there's not going to be this big push for me to have to lose weight, which is a, a relief for my, the visual side of myself, um, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be dropping weight no matter what if I, if I cut out a lot of the fat, but, uh, uh, you know, make some major major uh, lifestyle changes and uh, I'll probably see some uh, I'll probably see some good results so to those that I worried I'm sorry that I worried you I was worried <laughs> to those that were saying well we were trying to tell you you're just being silly about this yeah but I didn't have any information that that would lead me to believe anything different at the time so I'm sorry for worrying you, I'm definitely sorry for worrying myself, but at least I got, you know, three songs made in a 16-hour period, uh, something I would never have done. I was in a music writer's block for years, actually, and uh, this kind of forced me out of that. It also made me realize how much I had been, have been kind of wasting my life, and it kind of kick-started me into not doing that anymore. So, you know, there's a bunch of good things that came out of this. Um, so, anyway, uh, here are the uh, lab results. You can see them for yourself.